Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Long Dark Winter Mute, episode 16 in my series, but episode 1 of the story mode. We're at Paradise Meadows Farm, we come down here to trap rabbits as part of the missing quests in our um, side quests. We have to complete the basics of survival, learn to mend and maintain clothing. We probably need to read the book to trigger this because we've done the number of repairs required. But we don't have the tick mark. We need to snare a rabbit. Place a snare and catch at least one rabbit. We've placed three outside. We made an extra two over the one that we found in the last episode. So we're waiting for those to trigger. We are missing two bank deposit key boxes. And those are boxes number 13 and 20. I've been through the past videos from this series and I've identified a couple of places we've not been to and if we go to those once we've trapped our rabbit then maybe we'll find those keys and obviously um, Milton supply caches we're missing at least one note and I've had to google this one I will admit and I think I know where it's located we'll go get that later in the episode so, going back to this problem, learn to mend and maintain clothing. We have, within our um, bits and pieces, there we, are, we have some books, look. And in survival mode, you would normally read these directly from within your inventory. But from here, I think we need to do them here. Now, I just want to check before we do anything. We need to eat and drink before we do any reading at all because I'm trying to get the well-fed bonus for when we have to leave Milton. So let's just do that first. Um, we've got quite a lot of food on us. Um, I'm going to eat that and lose the weight. That puts us pretty close to maximum. Um... And I think I'll just add a one of those. And we'll take a, a full drink of water. And then we can get back to that book, which is in there. Let's examine the book. A sewing primer, that's all it says. Doesn't let us read it. Oh dear. Um, what about that one? Doesn't let us read it. So how do we read it? This is the one we're particularly interested in. Can't double click it. Can't right click it. Examining it just shows us what the book is. We go back to the inventory. It's not showing anywhere in our inventory that it would normally have shown up. So how do we make use of the books? No idea. Um, you see, we have done the three of three repair clothing. Perhaps we had to read the book before we did any repairs. Um, is this a glitch in the game? I'm not sure. Let me just go Google this and check it. Okay, from a quick check on Google, it seems that um, this is glitched and it won't actually give the tick mark until I leave Milton. So we'll ignore that for now and leave it alone. Um, we need a way to pass time though because we have to wait for those rabbit snares to trigger. So what I'm going to do is quite literally just pass time and I think the way that we'll do that is we'll just use the bed, it's the easiest route. Pass time for two hours and then go check the bunny traps. And just check the journal without going out. Side quest, snare a rabbit. Hmm. Not showing. Let's go have a look see. No 
wolves nearby. No rabbits snared. Well, I don't want to spend half the video sitting here passing time waiting for those to trigger. There's a wolf across there heading this way. Um, we need to figure out where the bunnies are hanging out. They're not over there. The direction we want to go is that away, but there's a wolf down there. Um, there's another wolf just over there. It's getting foggy. I don't want to be out in the fog. Um, there's not much that we can do right now indoors. I guess we could make some water. Let's have that book. Let's break up that chair. This will all pass time. We'll get a night's sleep and go out in the morning and check the bunnies. There's no cook pots down here. No. So we are carrying 1.62 litres. Let's just... Oh, we've got a cook pot here. Just start the fire. Use cardboard matches because we're indoors. Come on, fire. Burn, burn, burn. There we go. Right, let's just add some of that reclaimed wood. That should be enough to do it. Make two litres of water. Might as well put, make a half litre in there as well. We'll just pass time on these till they're ready. Let's check how many herbals have we got. We've got three made. Of each type, we've got 11 rose hips to make up, 5 reishis to make up. Champion, so we'll just make this as water. Four minutes till boiled. Take it pick that up we're now going to be seriously overweight 33.28 actually it's not too bad um, we take a drink right now carrying five liters which is way more than we actually will ever need there we go and if we just drop one liter here because by the time we've had a drink tonight before bed and then a drink in the morning when we wake up, if we dropped two litres, we'd probably be wanting to pick that up. Okay, we've still got time to kill because we're waiting for sunset so we can go to bed because we're not in the, light, in the least bit tired. Let's just break that up. 27 minutes. Pretty good. How much? Oh, the fire's gone out. What I want to do, are we carrying a book or burning? We are not. Let's take a book for starting fires outdoors if there's an emergency. Let's just take one last check on the on the rabbit traps. That wolf is still over there, look. Can we see the rabbit traps from here? We can. They've not triggered. Let's just go back in. And we 
might as well break that down as well. Get it out of the way so that we're not continually banging into it. We've searched that box, we've searched that trunk. Okay, let's just have something to eat. Um, that's the lowest condition candy bar. Current time is just after sunset, so let's um, let's pass time for three hours. Give ourselves a better chance of sleeping till sunrise. Okay, we've got our well-fed bonus. Let's make sure that we keep it by eating something else before bed. And I think what we'll do is we'll just munch four of these down that'll give us an extra 600 calories which in survival mode would be enough to actually sleep through the night without getting hungry but i'm not sure about here in story mode right and just check the time it's about an hour before midnight so let's push for a nine hour sleep Get good and rested. There we are. Woke up. It's daylight. We're fully rested. Sounds like a blizzard outside. Take a good drink. Got calories to keep us going for a while. He's still alive. Kind of surprising. Do a weather check. And yep, it is a blizzard. Don't see the wolves nearby. One of the rabbit traps is triggered, that's perfect. So let's just take the risk, go get it. onto the porch and check the the mission side quests um, basics of survival is now cleared and you notice that the whole thing all three segments has got a tick over here now but it still hasn't ticked they learn to mend and maintain clothings on this side Right, let's head inside. And what we'll do is we'll do the harvest on that rabbit and cook him up for breakfast. Have the hide off him. Got and what we'll do is we'll just drop them across here. That's at one hundred percent, that's at ninety three percent. Neither of, of them are cured. So we'll drop that one there. And oh, we need a book to start the fire just to be sure that it starts first time and we don't waste matches. There's loads of them lying around. Candy bar on the floor? No. 
Right. So, get that fire started. Come on, fire. Come on. You can do it. And this will just help give that storm a chance to blow itself out. Oh, good grief. Um, okay. That's the big one. And on there, we'll put the small one. Fast time on that. Eat that. Fast time on that. Eat that. Pick up the cooking pot. Take a drink. That leaves us with 2.77 litres. Excellent. And we're a little short on sticks now because we've just used those sticks up. Um, the storm has passed from the sound of it. Let's check we've got a book on us for starting fires outdoors. We have. We're at 30.63 kilos. We do need to pick up more sticks. Now we need to go and get those uh, keys and the last supply cash note. Maybe pick up some more cattails if we find any. That weather's certainly a lot better. Just check. It's minus three, so we're going to get cold. That's okay. Right, we don't need to do anything with those rabbit traps. We can just abandon them there. We do want to try and avoid that wolf that's been hanging around on the corner over there. So we're going to go out on this direction. Oh, there he is. Let's just skirt him. See if there's any cattails down here. I don't see any to harvest. Which is kind of surprising because this used to be a cattail rich area. And we're actually warming up now. So I guess the, the day is starting to warm up. As expected, there's a dead body across here. Um, again, I'm picking up crow feathers in case we get the opportunity to make bows and arrows. We haven't as yet. Ah, and the key was on him. Right. A few extra bits of food and the flares, always welcome. have blocked that off. You used to be able to get through there. Now what the next place that I want to do is head up to the back of the garage. There's a couple of um, well there's a vehicle and a couple of other minor uh, structures there that we haven't searched. Not according to what I've seen in the, the videos earlier in this series. Yeah you go through there dear. Come on. You chase the... You, oh, go flush the wolf out, for God's sake. I 
the wolves do like this end of town, so head on a swivel time. Make sure that you're checking all the angles. Try to get an early viewpoint on them. Still need to replenish our sticks, so do that. Considering that we're so close to the end of our time in Milton, you might think I'm picking up an excessive quantity of sticks. There's a method in my madness. Because what I intend doing is dropping a large number of these on the route that we'll be using to leave Milton. So that we have to carry less coming through town to get back to here. Rabbits up there. So below us should be the car. It is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a large bunch of those sticks here. up there for when we come back through and in the back of the car and there we go bank safety deposit box another bottle of antiseptic we'll pick it up for now the wind's getting up I'm going to do that extra bottle of antiseptic. I'm going to drop it here. And I'm going to put it on the front corner of the car there so that we can grab it as we run past if we need to. Right, now the next thing that we want to do is get back into town. We're dropping temperature again because the wind's up. Typically the wind's in our face. Overloaded, are we? No, 32 of 35, because we've got the well-fed bonus. We need to keep an eye on our food, that, on our nourishment, though. Make sure we don't lose that bonus again. I'm coming in through the back route here. Because I want to avoid any of the wolves in town. On across there, look. That's a surprise find, but it's a good one. Piece of fur firewood. temperature, making sure that we don't get too cold. The main reason we're doing this is to clear off all of the um, Side quests and stuff. Get up. Come on. Oh, get up. So that when we leave Milton, we've got a 100% achievement rate. Are there any cattails still on the pond? There's a few.
According to my quick Google, supply cache note should be lying around back here somewhere. This is the back of the burnt out. Oh, there it is. Wow, that is so hidden. So, let's quickly read that note. Um, presume it's that one. Medicine in my backyard. Examine. Susan, the meds I found on my last trip are at my place. Out back, you know the spot. Remember, we have to make these last as long as we can. I know things are bad right now, but please help me with this. If you get sick again, I don't know what I'll do. Okay, so let's have a look at the map, see if it gives us a clue. There it is. Okay, so it's down behind the last house on this row. Let's go get that. That's over that way. Oh, great. We do need to eat. Um, eat on one of them just to make sure that we don't lose that well fed bonus. That would be a disaster at this point. Because it means we'd have to spend another three days here in Milton to rebuild it. It would be an even bigger disaster than would getting a wolf attack right now to be honest a wolf attack we can recover from quickly we need another two sets of rose hips to make one more rose hip tea so I'll pick them up as we see them like we've already stripped this place. So the supply cache is somewhere in this area. There it is. Found it. Come on. Pharmacillin, disinfectant, stim, painkillers. Excellent. Don't really need the disinfectant, but it's fine. Okay, so what we can do now is get back to Grey Mothers, sort out the inventory we're going to take away from... Oh, there's a wolf there. Sort out the inventory we're going to take away from Milton with us. Rest up and get out of here. Well, depending on the time of day, because it's only early afternoon, we may actually leave today and head up and camp out just before the rope. Get that wolf's away across there. Oh, we've still got to go into the bank and open those two bank safety deposit boxes, haven't we? That's what we do need to do. Give that wolf his space. He's heading off towards the village pond. We've managed to get this far without having to use the flare pistol. And ammunition is fairly tight. I mean, we've got 10 rounds, which is more than I'm ever used to having with the flare pistol, but it's not easily replenished, so we don't want to be using it up just for the hell of it. Right, uh, open the deposit box, number 20. A, a maglens. 
Well, we don't need the, the Canada dollars. It was 20 and 13. One balaclava. And we'll take the boot. One ski gloves. Excellent. Don't need the stack of papers. Right. Well, that makes some big differences. It's a really good loot there. The mag lens is perfect for starting fires without using matches. And that will help us long term. The balaclava is the best frostbite protection for your head that you can get. Uh, it's not the warmest of hats, but it's the best frostbite protection. And those ski gloves are the best gloves in the game because they've got good stats all round and they can be repaired with just cloth. You don't need leather for them. So let's try and get back into Grey Mothers without any trauma. had a wolf essentially behind us heading for the village pond so just trying to put a bit of space between him and us before I stand up and run for grey mothers we've got all this stuff out here to decide what what are we taking with us and what are we not A lot of stuff here. Right, and we're back. We'll need to eat. We've got the climbing rope there that we need to carry, but we can overburden with that without a problem. We've got essential food supplies and stuff here. Right, so what I'm going to do at the start of the next episode is I'm going to sort our inventory out and we're then going to get out of Milton and start moving on. So next week's episodes will be leaving Milton and crossing the transition to get through to Mystery Lake and the start of episode 2 of Story Mode. Thanks for watching. I'm the Gazbeard. This is the Long Dark Winter Mute Redux, episode 1 of the Story Mode coming to its conclusion, and I believe episode 16 in my series. Don't forget, give the video a like, uh, give the channel a subscribe, click that bell icon to be told about new videos, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a great weekend. From me, as always, it's not goodbye, it's just bye for now.